Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Help promote and make my channel for a good one here. And eventually we will. So spoiler-free review of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Hoping it would be a great kickoff to Phase 5. Real palate cleanser. The Rotten Tomatoes scores, though, had me concerned, not because I trust Rotten Tomatoes, but because these critics get early access and special premieres and goodies that enhance the experience and cloud the judgment. Most of these guys usually give anything Marvel Disney high praise. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you. We've lost them. There's a couple of good moments. A couple, a couple of good moments. My favorite was between Ant-Man and the Wasp near the end as they showed that love for each other in a tag team effort. King also gave off some serious vibes and, and the best of it was him and Ant-Man going toe to toe in a brutal fight that the trailer showed. But let's talk about the bad because I was baffled by how bad it was. Ant-Man movies uh, aren't the greatest but they're pretty enjoyable. This feels like a different version of Ant-Man. The world they live in and the one we're familiar with. It was soundstage, obvious fake environments, low grade CGI nightmare experience dialed up to 11 with most with the, the most cartoonish characters that make you expect the Kool-Aid man to burst through a wall and save the day to wrap everything up. Oh yeah! Modoc looks god awful. They went halfway in on comic accurate. They should have gave him dead wide eyes and tinkered with his voice to make it sound like his vocal cords were crushed up a bit to make him sound menacing instead of sad pathetic joke that the characters roll their eyes out. The film was a complete tonal clash of drama and comedy each undermining the impact of the other with an all-star cast everyone just phones it in because the script is garbage and director obviously sucked as much as the writer but who cares i guess when they get their big payday but us normal folks spend our hard-earned money and go out of our way to be entertained there's no real character development growth or even a three-act structure the film is all over the place from start to finish cassie lane comes off unlikable from the start with her sure you you saved the universe dad attitude but what have you done lately for me he tries to aim for some big star wars lived in universe with the quantum realm forgetting the very charm and appeal pink pym and hope have almost nothing to do in this film when michelle while michelle pfeiffer janet has a lot happening because she didn't want to warn anybody of the dangers of the quantum realm until it was too late. Make uh, It just feels out of character, making her unlikable. The two in-credit scenes aren't worth sticking around for. One is goofy and way over the top, kills any and all excitement for things to come. If they are gonna all be quantum mania, love and thunder, and She-Hulk levels of cringe and bad CGI undermining every serious moment. The second in credit scene is as vital as seeing any one of the skippable Disney Plus shows. So my score on this is a 5 out of 10. Oh, the in credit scenes make up on that. No, they don't. They do not. Anyways, 5 out of 10. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Stay awesome. Rock on.